My name is Don McKenzie. I was born in Canada, in Montreal, and uh, came to Rio, to Brazil, with my parents in uh, 1952. We lived in Brazil until about 1963, and uh, my sister and I attended the British school at that time in the 50s and early 60s. And uh, my father was uh, employed with the light, which was the company that was founded by Alexander Mackenzie. Alexander Mackenzie would be my great uncle. He was my father's uncle. And uh, he was one of two sons uh, to my great grandfather. Uh, they settled in King Carden in Canada. And uh, Alexander Mackenzie pursued study of law in Toronto and came to Brazil in 1899 to work on the, the work led to the founding of the light. We lived, um, we stayed in Brazil until 1962 or three. My, my father was uh, with the telephone company at that time, which was part of the light. Um, after the uh, change in government when the military uh, took over. Uh, at that time, they nationalized the phone system. And my father stayed on for an extra year, and um, my sister and I stayed in Canada and started going to school there. And so I, I did uh, elementary school, and high school, and university in Canada. And after I graduated from university, I was interested in returning to Brazil to gain, to work. And I was able to, I was uh, able to get a, a position with um, the Projet de Jari, which was a pulp and paper and mining project in the Brazil. In 1983 or two, I guess, uh, the Jari company was um, nationalized and uh, it uh, was acquired by Kaimi. Uh, so that at that time was when I moved to Rio and uh, married and, and so my son started attending uh, the British school in the late 80s. All my three children were born in Brazil. Yeah. My most vivid memories probably um, uh, in the school would involve uh, a lot to do with the playground. I remember uh, the area, the play areas very well, which I looked at today on today's visit. Um, I remember the classes where uh, it was all in this building and uh, we, uh, I, we were taught how to eat properly at, in the dining area. We had uh, sit down meals uh, with knife and fork, and we were taught how to use them. Um, I, uh, I remember uh, classes with uh, our, our French teacher, who he at the time was a, a gentleman called Mr. Gordon, who was English and uh, quite tall, and he would uh, have us uh, teaching us French, he uh, taught us with poetry and things like that. It was all pretty funny. We would repeat it to our parents who would, would be quite amused by it. Um, and uh, I remember being in plays in the, in the hall uh, where you know, it, it was always, as a child, you, you remember standing up in front of a bunch of people. When I came back as a, as a parent, it was uh, fun to be able to introduce my son to the same general environment. I don't think, I, th I felt the environment was very similar uh, to the one I had experienced when I'd gone to the school. Some things really don't seem to change. Yes. I've been very impressed by what I've seen today, by the expansion that has occurred in the last uh, uh, 25 years. I, I'm, I left Brazil in 1990, that's when my son uh, uh, was here. 
last year he was here. Uh, so the expansion that has occurred in the last 25 years is remarkable. It's very impressive. My family's connection with the school is, is kept, has been kept very much alive through the connection with the McCrimmon family, who was the branch of the family that continued living in Brazil throughout this period. Uh, uh, Ken Mill and Elizabeth Wynne Jones are um, grandchildren of Ken McCrimmon, who was a nephew of Alexander Mackenzie. And uh, Ken McCrimmon lived in Brazil uh, from 1920, roughly, and until he virtually until he died in the 60s. And his daughter uh, is the mother of Kenneth and Elizabeth. And they they've con lived in Brazil continuously since then. So, and they have kept involved with the school throughout that time as well. And their children also attended the British school. So we've had a family connection um, almost since the school started. In fact, uh, Elizabeth would say that one of the reasons the school was started when it was, was because of her mother, Mary McCrimmon, Ken McCrimmon's daughter, who um, was, um, she, she was born right around the time the school was founded. Alexander Mackenzie came to Brazil in 1899 and was, in, he initially in Sao Paulo was involved in starting the light, the, the light, the light and power. Um, at the time it was called Brazilian Traction Light and Power Company. And uh, initially in Sao Paulo and then in Rio in the uh, early 20th century. And uh, the interest in starting a school was primarily to have a place for education for expatriate staff at the time. Uh, and that, that, that was the prime uh, concern at the time. Extremely proud and uh, just extremely impressed by what has been accomplished in, in, in uh, the way the school has evolved over that hundred years is, is remarkable. Another memory I have of the school uh, is that there were uh, it, it was a very diverse school in terms of the type of student because most of the diplomatic corps also sent their children to the school. The fact is you, you retain friendships with children from all over the world as well uh, because they would, some of them would stay in Brazil, some of them would return to England and so on and, and so we corresponded afterwards and, and uh, so I ended up with friends in far-flung places. Uh, a final message to the school would be to continue the good work. I, mean, I think what's been accomplished in the first hundred years is uh, remarkable and, and impressive. I have been told by um, people I've met on this trip to Rio that uh, the British school is considered to be uh, the best one in Rio. And uh, so I hope uh, that I would expect that it's going to try and maintain that standard for another hundred years. I remember the food as being good. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. <laughs>